Looking for an indie game that's smart, engaging, and not stuck up its own butt? Then you may want to check out Papers, Please. You play as the citizen of Arstotska, a fictional country that's just finished a war with its neighbor, Kolechia. You're chosen to work as a custom officer at a border checkpoint between the two countries. You check people's passports and other documentation and either approve or deny them entry, depending on if there are any mistakes or missing documents. After each shift, you go home to your loving, text-based family and decide how to spend the money. And that's... pretty much the whole game. So why is it so damn good? Well, it starts out simply enough. At first, you just let people from your home country through. Then they start letting foreigners in. And then... this happens. After that, more rules are introduced and your job gets a lot more complicated. And it keeps doing so. This creates a very organic, natural difficulty curve throughout the game. In fact, near the end you're juggling around four or five documents looking for the tiniest discrepancies and calling them out like a grammar Nazi that can actually get you arrested. Actually, Nazi might not be that far off. Hmm. Titan security and invasions of privacy based on a terrorist attack. Why does that sound familiar? There are even parts where you're told to do a full body scan of anybody of a certain nationality. Gee, I wonder if the video game is trying to tell me something! Actually, that's the best part of Papers, Please. It doesn't tell the player anything, it only asks. Sure, you're a gear in an obviously very sketchy government machine, but it's difficult to question your country's methods when they actually are getting directly attacked once a week. And can you actually do anything about it? Well, yeah! The game doesn't tell you what to think about these issues, but it does give you a lot of options with how to act on your thoughts. It's far more open-ended than it first appears, offering 20 unique endings based almost entirely on who you do and did not let into the country. The term that's been beaten to death this year by game journalism is ludonarrative dissonance, which basically means that the game and the story don't get along with each other. In Papers, Please, the game and story don't just get along with each other, they're making hot, sweaty, passionate love and having beautiful babies together. Your booth is a window to a lot of side stories. You'd be surprised how much power a little stamp gives you, and sometimes you'll be given a good reason to break the rules. Of course, breaking the rules means getting paid less and risking the health of your family, and you'll have more connection to these four freaking dots than most actual game characters. If you made David Cage play this game, he would cry salty tears and they would just be delicious. Papers, Please offers an experience that can be dark, funny, thought-provoking, and... It's actually a good game. I think you should clock in as soon as possible. Papers, Please is available as a digital download on PC and is the property of Lucas Pope, that talented bastard. Thanks for watching. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to make sure my papers are in order. This is Hardcoded Gaming, signing off.